get started with the violence. Let's make it happen right here. Ladies and gentlemen, Genux morning in the purple trunks up to the uh, top of the map. His opponent, Liquid Tyler in the red trunks playing Protoss. Oh yes, I am very much looking forward to seeing this happen. It's going to be good fun. That's exactly what it's all about, really, isn't it? If you're not having fun, then you're not doing it right. Esports is serious business, as people will tell you. Very serious business, certainly. A lot of business going on. A lot of money changing hands. But, main point of it is that everyone has fun. So, there you go. Hopefully I can provide that one for you. Pylon! I've got to predict a pylon! Wow! God, I am some kind of wizard. There you go. Final coming up right here for Liquid Tyler. Just waiting on the Supply Depot for Januk. Have a look at the placement of it. Tyler, pretty forward, not really bothering to wall off against any kind of harassment. You often see that around the mineral line. Called Sim City, building specifically against the idea of harassment, putting buildings in the way to limit the amount of entry points. Januk, on the other hand, looking to do perhaps just that, keeping that supply depot quite close to his chest. And of course, he'll go into a barracks soon after that. Neither player scouting initially. Waiting for Januk's barracks. SCV, looking very, very much enthusiastic about this match, almost as much as I am. Although not quite. Barracks on the way up, plus of course the gateway for Liquid Tyler. And now begins the mystery hunt, as they try and find out where their opponent is. Is he behind door number one? No. No, he is not. He's gonna have to look at door number two. Januk having a sneak around, seeing what he can see. Is he going to the right place? No, he isn't. Now, of course, this, this was against Zerg. You know exactly where your opponent is, because one of those nasty little overlords comes on over. Like, oh, I wonder where he came from. Not known for being particularly quick, those things. So there you go. In this case, they're not sure, but they certainly will be in a moment. I have a little bit of a meetup right here. We're going to see any fisticuffs exchange. No, very polite exchange right there between Januk's SCV and Liquid Tyler's probe. Cybernetics caught on the way up for Liquid Tyler. Pretty standard opening build. No big surprises there. You don't see an awful lot of surprises in the opening build of the Protoss. That's simply the way that it goes. Single assimilator on the way. Make sure he's got enough gas going for his warp gate. I have to wonder whether or not Tyler's going to be using any Phoenixes this time around. Because, of course, we are not playing for replays. This is live, which means Phoenixes got buffed in terms of how quick they are to come up. Januk with the reactor, straight into Marines, nice and quick for that one. Get some early pressure on, get some aggression on. I have to wonder whether or not Januk has been watching the EU versus US series because Tyler did go up against Demuslim and honestly, Demuslim won pretty damn convincingly there with a series of fairly low tech drops and Marine, Marauder and Medivac pressure. I have to wonder if Januk's gonna attempt to ape that. It is a possibility. Very much a possibility, going straight into factory right now, possibly going quickly through to Medivacs as quick as possible and apply some marine pressure. You never know, it could happen. No sign of any Stargate right now from Tyler. Oh, he does have the double gas going, possibly holding back on that. Never know, we'll find out shortly. Unit count looking pretty strong on both sides right now. Liquid Tyler with a Zealot and a Sentry. There's the robotics facility for Tyler, so we're not going to bother with that right now. And I'd also like to point out, if you don't already know this, Observer's now much cheaper to build. So you can cover the entire bloody map in the damn things if you so desire. And that would be very much a good idea if you'd like to know where your opponent is. I don't know, I like to keep the mystery. I don't really want to know what my opponent's doing because it spoils the surprise. But then again, that's probably why I'm not a pro player. Wow, okay, armory coming up for Januk. Interesting stuff. Looking for one base Thor play. Thor drops a possibility, at least if he gets his Stargate up. Or perhaps just a Marine and Thor pressure push straight up against Tyler. Neither player looking to expand right now. Warp Gate Tech almost complete. Another gateway. Yes, indeed, folks. It is the infamous or ubiquitous Thor Gate strategy. Back to by Robotics Facility, and there's the Observer coming in straight in. So the question is, is it going to get over there in time to spot the Thors? Won't get over there in time before the armory finishes, but there's the tech lab coming up, and Januk going to follow that up with a Thor. He's got good gas for it, hasn't spent any gas. That's why he built his barracks with the reactor first, because then he can pump out defensive units that don't cost any gas. So he can save it for building one of these big stompy things, and absolutely perfect timing there by Januk. Fantastic timing. Goes straight into the Thor. Just had enough minerals in time. Very good indeed, and that Observer will be on the way shortly and will spot it. But the question is, can Tyler respond to it? Immortals would be a good way to deal with it, as you should be well aware. Immortals do extremely well against Thors, as of course they do against Siege Tanks. No harassment from either player initially. Four sentries up for Tyler, and there's the expansion coming up for him as well, which he then cancels. Okay. 
Uh, why did he cancel it? Well, there's a simple rationale for that, because he just spotted everything. There you go. He cancels straight out of that and decides to go double pylon right now, and out comes the Immortals. A good, solid counter. The question is, can he get it out in time before the Thorn Marine pressure starts to come in? Okay, Stargate coming up for Janu. We are looking for the drop right now. And he's going to expand as well because he's feeling pretty safe about that. His opponent hasn't bothered to expand as a result of thinking, well, I'm going to get torn apart by Thors, and you know what? That wouldn't be so great for me. Kind of ruins your day, honestly. That's what these guys do. Stomp into your garden, make a mess of your flower bed. Not the kind of thing you want. He's building the factory right there. He actually did a swap He dumped right there to actually get a raven out. Smart move. Get rid of those observers that are... You know, he probably thinks that they're all over the damn map right now. And honestly, I wouldn't blame him. Considering how cheap those things are, why would you not believe they were all over the map? You've got to be paranoid, folks. You do. Against the Protoss, you really do. And there, there we go. Tyler now expanding. Feeling pretty safe. He's already chrono boosted out two Immortals. Pretty costly. But that should deal with the single Thor anyway. Another one on the way. Still not looking for drop. We're looking for a push instead. Backed up by Marines and most likely SCVs. That second Thor is on its way and the Raven as well. Raven will be pretty helpful, of course. Nice to be able to drop the point defense drone. But Tyler, not heavy on the Stalkers. Point defense drone won't work against any of the rest of this. Robotics Bay on the way here for Tyler. Colossi is what we're looking at. Well, you'd really have that for anything else, honestly. Now, Colossi with range, pretty damn good. They don't do very well against stores, but what they do do well against is the Marines. And something you've got to bear in mind. Wow, Junit with a variety pack right here. Thor on the way, plus a Banshee. Now, I have to wonder if he's actually going to apply pressure anytime soon with that. If he goes in with the Banshee, that's a pretty smart move, considering there's actually no anti-air defense right now in Liquid Tyler's base of any description. He's got some sentries, he's got some stalkers, but they're down in his natural expansion, so that mineral line is vulnerable to attack. Transfers a few of his probes off the line. Forward with a stalker. Tyler wants to go and spot, see what he can see. Not too much around for him. Janook playing very passively right now. Waiting to get a critical mass of units. Banshee is up, and he's looking for a second Stargate as well. Hmm, that is a lot of aggression, isn't it? That is fancy stuff. There we go. Expands. Double Thor. Would you run or run into that? I think not. That is a nice defensive line that he's got right there. And right now, not really under any threat from Tyler. Both playing very passively, building up their forces, waiting to make sure that they get critical mass. If they believe they get critical mass, they will go straight in. Janute with four refineries. Big gas coming out. Another starport on the way. Possibly looking for more of that heavy Banshee play, but we're not seeing it yet. Banshee flanking around, looking for attack on the mineral line. Is he going to get it? Yes, he probably will. Nothing really guarding that right now. And as far as I can tell, that wasn't scouted. Few shots off on the Assimilator. Doesn't even bother with that. Should be going straight in for it. Takes one probe, takes two. Immortals moving out. Not that that's going to help him in any way, shape, or form. As you're well aware, realizes that backs off and in comes the Stalker Firepower. That's the problem. We're going up against four gateways. Even if you don't have Stalkers available, you can warp them in pretty damn fast to respond to that. But good economic damage there done by the Banshee, and he didn't lose anything. Bear in mind, though, Tyler got a proxy pylon up right there, so there is a possibility of pressure. He's got proxy pylons all over the place, actually. Smart. Very smart Protoss play. It's a good idea to have proxy pylons all over the place, just so you can respond to that. And there's that extended thermal lance upgrade. Unit count right now. We're looking at three Thors for Janook, backed up by two Banshees, 27 Marines, and a single Raven. Two Banshees up in the air, not building any right now. There we go. There's another. Going to continue to apply that Banshee pressure. Observer coming across to see what else he can spot. He knows exactly what his opponent's got, though. He just isn't feeling confident enough to go in. They both know what they have. Very evenly matched right here. We'll have a look at unit count for Tyler. What we'll see is five Zealots, two Immortal, two Colossi, eight Stalkers, and four Sentries. As to where that's going to go, well, you'll note that Januk has not bothered to grab his upgrade yet. In fact, he hasn't actually got the ability to do so. Doesn't have a tech lab. So he's not going to be doing anything like that. Doesn't have the stim pack upgrade for those Marines. So that's a lot of potential damage that is not available. Right now, investing quite heavily into those Banshees, but it looks like Tyler can't be bothered to wait. Push forward with the aggression right now. It's very unfortunate that he doesn't have that stim. Again, a lot of damage and a lot of speed that he could use to his advantage. If they're very slow like that, and I don't believe he's got Marine Shield either, then he's going to be in quite a bit of trouble. In comes the Banshee. Banshee sacrificed. No particular reason there, not really able to do anything. At least he knows where his opponent is. Unfortunately, I think Tyler is now reaching that point where he does have critical mass. 
14 Stalkers now, way more on the way. Continuing to Chrono Boost out, grabs another Colossus. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Stargate to back Tyler up as well, although no signs from that. Little bit of harassment being done on the mineral line by that Banshee right there. Takes uh, several pros. Economy-wise, though, Tyler's still slightly ahead, although he won't be for long if he keeps losing Harvesters that way. Big Force moving out right here for Tyler. Is he going to go in for it? If he does, he's going to meet a wall of pain. That is a lot of firepower able to bring to bear right here with those stores. Two Immortals, not a huge number. Not a huge number. The Stalkers will certainly help, but that's a terrible toll. They know it's a read. Here comes the firepower, and here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Punkers going down straight away. Gets sliced apart there by the Gortside firepower. Thor's backing it up from the rear. Massive firepower coming in from everything you could possibly see. It's messy, folks. Immortals have been taken out. Driving them back right there. Colossi unable to deal with it. Nice play there by Januka. He's continued to prosecute it. Looking to try and bring down some big firepower on the Colossi. There he goes. Can he take one? Yes, he can. Looking for a second. Big firepower coming down the Banshees. Takes one, takes two, and the third's about to die. Yes, he takes another Colossi with it as well. Fantastic defense there by Januk. It is very solid for him. Very solid indeed. He must be pretty happy about that. Didn't really lose all that much. Yes, he is way ahead in terms of units lost. A lot of resources lost by Tyler there. Bled him pretty damn well on the defense. Question is, what is he going to respond to that with? Well, he's got Void Rays on the way out. Ooh, 250 millimeter strike cannons on the way for Thors. Why would he grab those? Quite simple. Blow the living hell out of Colossi Immortals with them. Very effective. That should do a great job for him. Do you know what those four Thors, unfortunately, unable to prosecute any kind of counterattack right now? Looking for harassment with the Banshees from the side. Now, do we have any defenses? No, we do not. Once again, that mineral line looking incredibly vulnerable. Bear in mind, these things chew through them. Any, every salvo takes one, two, three... Four pros, five, six, seven, takes eight. Phoenix up in the air, Phoenix up in the air. Those things are gonna go down very, very quickly. Takes a lot of probes out there. Januk now ahead. Was it justifiable? Arguably, arguably it was. Two more Banshees on the way. Continuing to keep Tyler on the defensive. Januk still looking to build that critical mass of Thors. He has five. No upgrades for them, though. None whatsoever. Stimpak is finally on its way. So if he decides to prosecute with the Marines once again, then he'll do a much better job this time. There's the upgrades for you. Looking for a Marine Shield as well. Very powerful upgrade against the Colossi. Means an additional hit as far as I'm concerned. That would be good. Oh, and we can take out a few of Tylers. There you go. Take out a Proxy Pylon as well. Unicant right now is looking pretty strong on the Colossi as well as the Void Rays for Tyler. Two Colossi out. About to get a third Void Ray as well. Looking for a counter air attack. Januk does have the ability to shoot that down, but it's all the way over there and it's pretty damn slow. They're called Thors, folks. Does he have enough Marines to counteract that with? He's got 16. It's pretty good. Once again, aggression coming in. Is he going to ball it up, folks? Are we looking for Void Ray pressure? We're looking for harassment. Here we go once again. Thors chewing the way through. Loses one already, though. A lot more Stalker firepower available this time around, and that's looking very, very good for Tyler. He breaks the line. Continues to break the line. Void Ray supporting that ball of death right there. Oh, that's not looking good at all. Thor's taking it apart. No units left for Januk. Oh, yeah. Tyler just took him to the cleaners right there. Oh, that's messy. Down goes that command center. And honestly, Januk doesn't really have anything to respond with. Good game, folks.